On matters beyond our borders, Mastercard has begun issuing credit cards in Somalia in a bid to tap the $1.6 billion annual remittances business, which was disrupted by anti-terrorism restrictions. After decades of conflict, Somalia has no formal banking sector. Money transfer companies that enable the quick and easy movement of cash in and out of the country keep many families and businesses afloat. Here's more on that story. Suleiman Mohammed, like so many others, has struggled to find regular work in Somalia. For years, he has survived on remittances from family in Nairobi, Minnesota, transferred through money transfer agencies known as Hawalas, without which he couldn't have paid his rent or kept his four children in school. But in recent months, both American and Kenyan governments have moved to cut off transfers to Somalia amid a crackdown on money laundering and fears that international funds may be going to Shabaab militants. In the past few months, we've had a lot of problems with the closure of remittance firms. Nairobi closed them, and also the Hawala companies were closed by the US or England. It's become more and more difficult for us because we couldn't receive any cash from our relatives abroad. Families like Suleiman's have been hit hard, but for the first time, a solution may be in sight. MasterCard is linking up with Somalia's premier bank to distribute debit cards for the first time and fill the billion-dollar gap left by the closure of other financial services. Premier has bought five ATM machines and plans to have 15,000 cards issued by the end of 2015. <laughs> We brought MasterCard here to be one of our services and help Somalis who have had difficulties receiving remittances. Now they can open an account, save and withdraw cash even outside of the country. You won't need cash to be transferred just through Hawalas anymore. It's a first step in lifting the effective financial blockade of Somalia, which has been increasingly cut off from the rest of the world. Somali economist Abdi Aziz Ibrahim says that the move is a sign of MasterCard's willingness to undertake risks in Africa. Somalia is one of the most dangerous places to invest, but a company like MasterCard is willing to take that risk and to come to Somalia because the country is recovering from two decades of war and its economy is recuperating and things are expected to change in the near future. The balance of risk and reward is yet to be seen. Security remains a huge issue here. But it's a step in the right direction for Somalia, striving for financial as well as political stability.